Hello YouTube and welcome to another Knights and Dragons video here with Machismo. Today we're going to be making another video on Knights and Dragons. So the new epic boss just came out guys and I have no clue what it is so we're going to go check that out. Um, should be spawning right after the news updates. Alright so Firewing Wasp. Wow looks pretty cool. And it is Fire Air. And the stats, so it looks like it's going to be a tank armor, guys, with uh, the plus stats right there for you. Uh, 1,318 attack and 1,561 defense. It actually looks uh, pretty cool, guys, for four-star armor. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start fighting this, guys. Um, I'm going to end up using my sandstorm on my main because it counters it. And it doesn't get countered. So we're going to put that on my main, guys. So you guys might notice that my stats are low. My iPad is still dead, so I'm not able to uh, fix it. Sorry. I'm not able to make myself guild master in my guild yet because I did switch guilds. If you watched my last video, you heard that I went to my old guild, uh, Fire Emblem, because we made a push. And so I still haven't been able to make myself the guild master of my own guild. So for now, I'm going to have just basic commander stats. So they're going to be kind of low for now. So here we go, guys. Oh, wait. Got to remove these guys. Good thing. <laughs> that would have been shitty. Here we go, guys. All right. Looks pretty cool with the wasp. Not going to lie. So there is number one for you guys. What else is there? So, I ended up getting the plus armor, guys. I ended up getting a couple gems to fight it again. So, I am able to craft the plus. I just have to upgrade that armor. But I'm going to save all those armors to be able to upgrade these to 35, all of them. And then, so I can then craft the plus version. And because, as you guys know, there is the Creepy Crawlers Boss Collection, which is new and just came out now. And so, if you craft all the boss armors, and you just uh, keep the regular in your inventory, you get the spider cape. If you get the plus armors, you get green kaleidoscope, which is pretty cool. You get the green kaleidoscope. Um, it sucks because it's not plus, but for all those people um, that can get all the plus armors... And then this armor would be really helpful for them, especially if they don't have an epic. Um, but if you can get the plus armors and max those, then I recommend you just keeping those and you can have your lineup all set up properly because those armors will be, um, they're like just as strong as epics now. They're all like passing Moon Tide and Blazeborn as of now in uh, Cloud Range. So, yeah, you can just keep the regular plus version instead of using the green kaleidoscope. It really doesn't make a difference, but whatever works for you guys, if it's a good armor to have the kaleidoscope's armor. Like, I have a red kaleidoscope, but I'm going to be getting green anyways. So, yeah, just because I can. <laughs> <coughs> so, we're going to keep on going over here. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. Oh, something in my throat. But so I'm just going to keep on trying to fight it maybe five or six times. And we're going to see how this goes. So yeah, it looks like a pretty cool boss, guys. Um, let's go fight it again. Get my sandstorm up against it. I love my sandstorm. It's so strong. I wish I had my Guildmaster stats on. It'd be like 2,600 defense if I was lucky. So we're just going to keep on going at it, guys. So as you guys all know, you got to get to 15 to craft the armor. And, well, I just started. It's been out for a little while now. I think about half an hour. So just have to wait for some energy so I can fight it for a bit. So I can be good. All right, guys, so we're fighting for the third time now. Sorry, guys, I'm trying not to talk too much because my throat's kind of hurting me. So, yeah. But, yeah, so I'm just going to keep on one-hitting it until... Oh, there. Get some energy. Sweet. I'm just going to keep on probably one-hitting it till a bit later. 
maybe level five or six. I'm not even sure. <sighs> oh, I know who I'm using as my friends. Uh, my buddy Hazy, the one that we made the video on opening the chest, he has Komodo Plus. So I'm probably going to use him for the boss because he'll counter it really well and his stats are really high. So I know he's going to be like one of my main friends for this guy. And then I got to think of another lineup. So I'm probably going to use um, my Druidic and maybe Maelstrom as my other two when I'm trying to get to like 43 and whatnot. I'm just going to keep on fighting these guys. Trying to unlock it again. So if you guys are new to my channel or new to some videos that I've been making, um, I think the fastest way to unlock the boss and most efficient way to keep on fighting it, to be able to unlock the boss faster. So like in the first early stages is just fight on uh, on Relic Runes on Valor stage. And then once you unlock the boss, you fight it and then you flee the fight and then you go fight the Honored stage and you just keep on going from there. And you're going to see I just go through it fast. Well, then again, I only use one guy till 15, so that could be the main reason, because I am strong enough to do so, but other people can do it as well, or they can use like one, two, at least six, so then you can uh, start recovering energy right after. It's very helpful. Instead of wasting your time fighting all the other places that take longer to beat or whatever, just keep on switching like this, and then go right back to the fight. So we're just going to fight it a couple more times, and then we're just going to stop. But I recommend everyone getting this uh, boss armor plus if you're able to and willing to. Um, it's very strong, and it's a tank armor if you don't have a tank armor. Um, yeah, I recommend you guys getting this. It is strong. Um, the, ones, the only element that really counters it is earth. Water does counter it, but it gets countered by air. So that's why the nemesis is earth and not water. So we're just going to keep on fighting this. I'm going to... I don't think it's going to be... Oh yeah, I won't hit it again. I think I crit again too. Oh, and some more energy. How nice. So, um, a little tip, guys. If you, I'm not sure if this is how it actually works or not. But with the boss collection on the last day, sorry, I hit Guild War by accident. The last day of this, because I mean, it says the last day that you can collect, it'll say, um, Reward Redemption, April 1st through April 8th. With that being said, you can only, um, what was I going to say? For the last boss, I think you only have until the boss actually ends, and then you have till like a couple hours to collect. I'm not sure, or if there's like a time period after where you can collect a reward. So let's say you you craft the plus version on the last day of it being out, and then you have two days to collect it. So like you can craft that armor, the plus version within the two days, and then you can still be able to get it. I'm not sure if that's how it works, but I remember last time when it was uh, Glacius, like the Winter Kings. I used the gems to get to be able to get um, Glacius as fast as I could. And so I got to 43 within maybe three days. And I had the armor plus version before it ended just to make sure because I wasn't sure. If anyone knows otherwise, please let me know about that because I would really like to get the green kaleidoscope, although I won't use it at all. It's just truly nice to have. So we're just going to go back to fighting minions, guys. Sorry about that. Just... Wanted to clarify something. If you guys can just post that down below and let me know about that. Um, so yeah, here we go. So yeah, my reflector is finally working now. Like if you guys were to watch my last video, I explained why I wasn't able to upload for the last week. It's just because it wasn't working. It wouldn't connect and whatnot. So I'm going to try to... Try, try to make that up to you guys and try to upload once every day or maybe two days if I'm able to. So, what are we on? We're on six. We have none energy left. Let's see how this goes. I wonder if I'm going to one-hit it again. Yep. Oh, and I crit this time. 3.6k damage. It's always good. 
And so we earn another five energy. I love earning energy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to push for this, guys. Like, I want to be able to get this fast and upgrade it because I'm pretty sure I have the armors to upgrade it. Plus, if you look at how much gold I have, guys, I have nine freaking mil. That's an, I've never saved up over like three mil, guys. I have nine mil. If you have saved up more gold than I have, comment below and tell me how much you guys have gotten. Cause like, I don't I don't remember seeing any videos that I've watched. Cause I watch a bunch of Knights and Dragons YouTube shit, like myself, and I've never seen that much other than like people hacking or people like in top ten that just have no money. Not no money, but they put no gold into anything else other than their epics every Guild War. So, I don't know, guys. If you've seen anything higher than that, or if you've had higher yourself, just let me know. Because, like, I don't know. I haven't seen people with 9 mil gold. Which is pretty insane, guys. I don't know. So, we got 7. Alright, we're on 7. Hopefully, I don't one-hit it again. I kind of want to see its power attack. Oh, there we go. And I... Kind of fast forwarded through it. Sorry about that, guys. And more energy. How sweet of you. The bee likes me. Alright, guys. So we're on 7. I'm just going to stop it there. I don't want to show you guys too much of fighting the boss. But there you guys go. It's the Firewing Wasp. Um, it's a wasp <laughs> with uh, wings that are on fire. Pretty basic. Um... Soon enough, guys, I'm going to be doing some fusing stuff. Um, whenever I get bored, I kind of fuse away stuff, which I'm going to try to avoid doing because I want to be able to make the fusing episodes. But I have a shit ton of one stars and all this crap, and I'm just going to put those all towards my armors now so I can get them to 30. And so I got these armors here, and I'm just going to be trying to get some epics if I'm able to. And so I have all these, all the plus armors I'm going to keep and the rest I'm just going to fuse away. So like Voidborn Shroud, like the regular version, that's going to be gone. And same with the uh, Voodoo Robes and Soul Shroud and all that stuff. So that's going to be gone, but all these armors are going to be going into the next three boss armors to be able to get them to 35. And I'm just going to have to constantly try to get more armors to be able to get them to that level so I can get the reward. So there you go, guys. Um, that's the epic boss for you this week. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to comment down below of what you think about the boss, like uh, you guys always do. Uh, just let me know on the progress you guys have. Like whenever you watch the video, just post me how well you guys are doing on the bus, on the boss yourself, and then I'll just uh, I'll comment on your comments. Like I'll reply and just I'll give you guys a little heads up where I'm at and. Then, of course, on on 43, I recorded it again, or if I'm lucky, 60, but I doubt it for this boss. Um, other than that, that, guys, hope you take it easy, and hope you all comment, rate, and subscribe. All right, take it easy, guys. Have a great one. Bye.